Hello, a very warm welcome again to Moorgate Andrology. Today I want to talk about male enhancement. You know, for, I'm sure, generations, men have always looked to find ways to increase their penis size. But uh, there is no doubt that in the past 10 years, certainly in the United Kingdom, there has been a massive interest uh, among the male population about penis enlargement and, and male enhancement generally. More and more men are looking to have cosmetic surgery, um, you know, to f fix their noses, to pin their ears back, even lifting their faces. Uh, cosmetic surgery is a part of everyday life. And I think that penis enlargement really, male enhancement has just sort of come along for that ride. And um, now more than ever, uh, more and more men are looking to seek ways to enlarge their penis. Now, if you uh, do some research of your own online, you will see that there, there are so many uh, different ways um, of enlarging your penis that, that are advertised online. Uh, they range from um, pills and potions to uh, traction devices, penis pumps and uh, penis filler injections, penis enlargement surgery, the list goes on and on. But what I want to talk about today is uh, the scientific proof, proven ways, proven medical ways which you can quite legitimately increase the size of your penis. Um, I want to leave alone the penis enlargement pills, the lotions and potions, because speaking frankly, uh, after 30, 40 years in this business, um, I haven't yet come across a penis enlargement pill that can increase the size of someone's penis. Um, uh, maybe one day we will see one, but I, I'm not sure that it's out there yet. Now, from a medical standpoint, uh, there are two ways in which you can increase the size of your penis. One is a surgical route and the other one is a non-surgical route. The surgical route involves the cutting of a ligament, um, which uh, is called a suspensory ligament. This lies deep under the pubic bone and when this ligament is cut, it can slide the penis forward, revealing some extra length that nearly all, well, all men have to a greater or lesser degree. The results of this procedure are quite predictable. In 95% of men, we can achieve an extra one to two inches more in the flaccid length. That's a very important point to remember, in the flaccid length. Uh, this surgery is called ligamentosis surgery, um, which, uh, which does not increase erect length of the penis. It increases the flaccid length. But lots of guys are interested in increasing the flaccid length of their penis because they're embarrassed when they're in changing rooms at the gym or when they're playing football or with a partner and their penis is not erect. They get, they get very uptight about the, their flaccid penis. And this, this surgery is very good for them. In terms of an option to increase the penis girth, which is extremely popular, then men who have ligamentosis surgery, that's the cutting of the suspensory ligament to increase the length, virtually all will have a surgical uh, fat transfer. Fat is taken from the stomach or sometimes the inner thighs. It's put through a purification system and then injected into the penis to increase the girth. Now, this extra girth is visible when the penis is both flaccid and erect. So that's why um, particularly penis uh, girth fat transfer is very, very popular now in the UK. But most of the time it's performed together with a lengthening surgery, but not always. So they are proven medical approaches to increasing your penis size. Now, if you're not quite ready for surgery, but you're looking for another way, another proven medical way 
of increasing your penis size, then you could consider uh, temporary uh, filler injections. So these have been around for many years and uh, it's the injection of hyaluronic acid underneath the skin to, um, well, across the world use, mo use mostly for smoothing out wrinkles in the face, uh, plumping out the cheeks if you look a little bit gaunt or you've gone gaunt in your cheeks. Um, this product is a great volumizer, adds volume to the, to the tissues and uh, it works perfectly well in the penis too. So the same uh, fillers that you use to volumize the cheek area are also used successfully in the penis. Now, these have become quite popular in, I would say, the last five, six years, um, because it's not surgery. Um, it means that you can get these injections done, go back to work with any downtime, um, but of course, the downside with the filler injections is they have to be repeated. So there is quite a, an investment uh, needed to be made uh, over the medium to long term because the filler breaks down. It breaks down naturally in the body and depending which filler you go for, they last somewhere between eight months and two years, depending which filler you, you, you choose. Um, but if you don't mind the ongoing cost, there can be a very easy way to, to increase your penis girth. Um, you simply go along to the clinic one, two years later when you're ready for what's called a top-up treatment, a top-up treatment, and you have the, you have the filler topped up and then you're, you're on your way again. So they are very popular now, but they are significantly more expensive in the medium to long term than a fat transfer, which after initial absorption is a permanent procedure. So there you go. There are two proven scientific ways, proven medical procedures that can increase your penis size. If you need uh, to find out more information, uh, about these procedures, then you, you can do on our website, which is www.morgateandrology.co.uk. So until next time, thanks for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you back here at Morgate very soon. Bye for now.